What's going on guys? It's Mark with Luma Marketer back with another video for you all. And in today's video, I want to talk about how you determine what your cost per lead is for your limo business with either search engine optimization or pay-per-click marketing. So how much are you actually paying for your leads? And what are some industry benchmarks? How much should you be paying for a lead? So first we're gonna start off with SEO, search engine optimization. So how do we determine what we're actually paying per lead for our SEO efforts? This can be a little more difficult than pay-per-click um, but let me go over how I would analyze and see how much my client is paying uh, per lead for their search engine optimization. So first off, let's do a scenario. Let's pretend we're a company uh, that's in, let's say, Dallas, and we're paying, let's say, $2,000 a month to get the SEO done on our website. And so $2,000 a month. And let's also... So what we need to know is this, okay? So when you hire this SEO agency, we need to know how much organic traffic your website is getting a month, okay? Very, very important, okay? So let's pretend you hire this agency and you're getting 100 unique visitors per month organic. And let's say over the course of a year, they get you up to 600 unique visitors per month. Okay, so we obviously didn't jump from 100 to 600 in one month, right? So probably each month, there were more and more visitors to the site. In month 12, there was really a, I believe they call it a delta, so of 500 visitors, okay? So let's just pretend, to make the numbers simple, Let's just average it out and let's say over the course of a year, uh, we pretend that we would have gotten 100 uniques a month that whole year anyways, right? So we're going to pretend that you've over the course of a year gotten, let's say, 250 extra uniques a month. Okay, so 12 times 250, that means 3,000 extra visitors over the course of the year. And granted, you were only getting 100 unique before, so you probably didn't have any SEO going on, and so you definitely made progress, uh, but over the course of a year, you've gotten 300 or 3,000 extra unique visitors from your organic traffic, okay? It's very important to not go off total traffic because that's going to show you referral traffic from things like Facebook, uh, Yelp, um, lots of other referral sources, direct traffic. So we don't want to go by total traffic. We want to look at organic traffic. Okay, so 3,000 extra. Um, and let's just pretend we know what our conversion rate on our website is. So how many of those visitors turn into actual leads, okay? Very important number to know. And let's just pretend they have a great website and it's converting at about 25%, okay? So 25% conversion rate. And there's 3,000 visitors. That means 750 leads total, right? And 2K a month, that means $24,000 per year for 750 leads. Okay, so let's do some quick math. Um, that looks like it's about a little over $30 a lead, right? I believe that's about right. A little over, so that's about, about 30, let's say $32 per lead. Okay, that's a lot, right? That's a lot, but this is year one, right? Now year two, if it's a good SEO agency, you might go from 600 to let's say, um, you know, let's say you get to 1200, all right? Then the numbers are gonna be a whole lot better. Your cost per lead's gonna go down. That's in the second year. In the third, fourth, fifth, sixth, the numbers will just get better and better and better. That's why SEO can be such a great return on your investment. 
over the long term. The problem is most businesses, they don't do their due diligence in finding an SEO agency because if you're gonna spend $24,000 or whatever the cost may be, 10,000, 30,000, you better find an agency that's good, that knows what they're doing, otherwise you can waste a ton of money and a ton of time. So, all right, that's how we get our cost per lead with search engine optimization. With pay-per-click, it's a little bit easier. All we need to know with pay-per-click uh, for our cost per lead, also called cost per conversion. And if you're tracking all of this, you'll actually just see it in your Google dashboard, but it's important to understand how it kind of works. So with pay-per-click, your cost per lead is essentially this. It's your cost per click. So let's say average CPC. That's how it shows in the Google Ads dashboard. AVG CPC, your average cost per click. It's gonna be between $1 and let's just say $4. For 95% of limo companies, it's gonna be between one and $4, okay? Um, and obviously it's lower in smaller markets, higher in larger markets. So you take your average cost per click, and all you have to do is divide this by your conversion rate. Wish you would have paid attention in math, don't you? This is actually really easy to figure out. So all you do is take your average cost per click. So let's say you're, it's $2. And let's say you, just like with your website, let's say your landing page, it's probably gonna convert better than your site. Uh, so let's say your landing page converts at 30%. So two divided by 0.3, that's going to be around Hmm, 6.66. Let's just do 6.67 because that number is a little better, right? And I believe that's going to be correct. So $2 a click, you're converting 30% of those clicks, right? So if we did some math and figured 10 clicks is $20, 30% of those convert, 30% of those uh, convert, which would be uh, three, uh, so three times 667 is $20, right? So at a 30% conversion rate, our cost is 667 per lead. And this is why conversion rate matters so much because what if our conversion rate was 10%? That one's really easy, right? That means it's $20 per lead. And so we need to know our conversion rate, how well our landing page or website converts, and we need to know our cost per click. In other videos, I go into why you want to get the lowest cost per click possible. Some ways to do that are to bid to lower positions, uh, give Bing ads a shot in certain markets, it's really low per click. But let me just go over some industry benchmarks. I'm guessing that's why you guys are here. You're like, Mark, we don't give a crap about all of this math. Just tell us how much we should be paying. And so, Let's just take average, or uh, let's do market size here. And this is large, medium, small. And small markets, I've seen you're typically gonna be, I've seen it as low as $3. Now, keep in mind guys, this is all based on you having a really dialed in Google ad campaign, pay-per-click campaign. If this is something you've done yourself and you haven't done your research, these numbers aren't gonna be anywhere close to the numbers you're actually getting. You're probably gonna be spending multiple times more than this. But for a really good Google Ads campaign that's really dialed in, this is what you should be spending. So I would say on the low end for smaller markets is $3 a click, on the high end seven. For medium sized markets, probably six to 13. And in large markets, you're probably talking nine, I've seen up to probably 22. This is your cost per lead. And so you can really quickly kind of figure out what you're paying per click if you know the conversion rate, right? Because if these are converting, if your cost per lead is $20, right? And you're converting at 25%, that means you're paying $5 a click. That's a lot. In this industry, you don't want to be paying that much per click unless you're doing things like charter buses, uh, mini coaches, 
uh, you know, the very large vehicles, which hopefully some of you are getting into, uh, I know it's becoming a lot more popular. Those vehicles can be eight, ten dollars a click sometimes. But if you're doing airport car service, if you're doing uh, like limo service for you know quinceañeras, proms, weddings, your cost per click should probably be between two and three dollars for most limo companies. Uh, in large markets, it can get up to four dollars sometimes. But but really, if we're bidding to low positions or you know trying being ads out, we should keep that cost per click down. So this is essentially it guys, it's very simple. You wanna remember it's your average cost per click divided by your conversion rate. That's how you know how much you're paying per lead or per conversion. Um, one other thing I wanna go over is this. So now if you're paying an agency, you need to factor that in as well. So let's just pretend this agency is getting you 100 leads a month. and you're paying them 600 a month. Okay, that means you do, you know, 600 divided by 100, that's an extra $6 a lead. If you're doing an extra $6 a lead, that makes this, you know, nine to 13 per lead. You know, it'd make this uh, 12 to 19 a lead. And for this, you know, you might be 15 to 28 per lead. And that might be your actual price per lead once you figure in the agency fees. But I want you guys to keep this in mind. So for most campaigns I see that haven't had a good agency, optimize them and get the landing page dialed in, they can literally be spending two to three to even four or five times this cost per lead because it's so easy to be paying too much per click, to be getting a ton of irrelevant clicks, to have a website that has a very low conversion rate, and all of these stack on each other and can skyrocket how much you pay for a lead. So one thing I wanted to say before I end this video, guys, is if you haven't gotten your campaign audited in the past six months, I highly recommend you have an agency audit it. If you're a limo business watching this video, please leave a comment below and I'd love to have my team check out your campaign and see how much you're paying a lead because way too many companies pay way more than they need to per lead and that can add up month over month. If you're paying two to three times the amount per lead you should and you can reduce that, that goes all to the bottom line. That goes all to the profit of your business. So please leave a comment below. Let us check out your campaign. I always tell the businesses I work with, you need to even be getting my work, my company, my business's work checked out on a regular basis, once every six months or once a year, have another agency audit it. Okay, because you always wanna know where you're spending your money. How often do you go online and check out your credit card statement? Hopefully you do it at least once a week. Hopefully it's more than that though. And this is just like this. You need to know where your dollars are going because if you're two hands off of this stuff, it's very easy to start getting fraudulent charges like on your credit card. But instead of fraudulent charges, what you're really getting is irrelevant clicks, paying too much per click, not converting high enough, and so spending way more money than you need to. So anyways, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I'd like to ask you a favor. Can you please, if you found value in this video, please give it a share. Uh, please like it. Comment below. Let me know how you guys like this video and with any questions you might have. And I will talk to you guys next time.